Ping G425 Max, Cobra Rad Speed XB, and Titleist TSI2. Three new drivers on the market. All great options, very forgiving. We're gonna test them out with TrackMan and see the differences. Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We're in the tour van testing out new drivers. Uh, a couple of these are new actually in 2021, and then the Titleist TSI2 in Thomas's hands was actually last fall in 2020, but uh, regardless, three new drivers on the market. Uh, they're all very forgiving, uh, known for that high MOI design. Um, Thomas, you know, we've done some initial testing with all three of these, gonna finally put them head to head here. Um, what do you think about these models and uh, what do you think we're gonna see today? Yeah, you mentioned head to head testing, that's where it's at. This is, the, this is the fun time of year when we get to test all the different models. Talking about Titleist, Titleist was, re was released in the fall of 2020, so we don't wanna forget about them. Mm -hmm. They perform extremely well and very, very forgiving and very, very hot. We all know that golfers need forgiveness, but we don't want to sacrifice so much forgiveness and not have the ball go as far as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. So, big story is a lot of the weight's been dropped back on, on, on these models. You talk about Cobra, XB stands for extreme back weighting. Mm -hmm. TSI2, you can notice the weight's all the way back. And then the G425 Max, they don't sacrifice distance by having that sliding weight go too far around. So, mm -hmm. MOI forgiveness is very, very important in drivers, and we're going to test it. Yeah, each of these models is probably the, of the models released by the manufacturers, probably the one that's going to fit the most golfers, kind of that large club head uh, footprint, high MOI, et cetera. Uh, so we're going to test them all out, see how that forgiveness stacks up with TrackMan, talk about spin, launch, distance, et cetera. And we're going to give you guys the lowdown here. So Thomas, you ready to hit some bombs? Let's do it. All right, so Thomas, looks like you're starting with rad speed. Um, just wanted to get an explainer on maybe the shaft you're going to use and then how this test is going to work here. Yeah, so I have our all fit adapter. So nice thing is we can switch the heads around, play the exact same golf shaft in each head. The length is going to be 45 inches. So that is just a little bit shorter than what I would normally okay. play. So I don't expect maybe to maybe swing in at 116 miles an hour plus like you may have seen on our channel here because we definitely want to talk about the differences. But I'm going to try and keep the swing speed the same as close mm -hmm. as I can with all the models. To do that, what I'll do is I'll hit three shots initially with each model, then I'll come back and I'll cycle back and hit three more with each model. Okay. Just to try and make this as unbiased as possible. All right, sounds good. 18 driver shots. Are you ready for that? Let's, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, the, the Golf Shaft model I'm using is the Graphite Design Tour AD XC6X. That's the Golf Shaft that I actually played in 2020. Okay. So it's something right. I'm used to. Yeah, you know how it feels. It's just a little bit shorter, but um, you won't see that impact too much, I don't think. But um, 18 drivers, 18 bombs probably, right? Uh, you ready to hit them? Hopefully they're all bombs. All right, Thomas, you hit 18 drives. Um, I know, well, I see a couple here, maybe hanging out to the right with a couple of them. Maybe we can, maybe you want to take one out with each one? Yeah, there was definitely an outlier, especially with Titleist and Ping, a couple to the right, and there's one I didn't quite catch perfect with the uh, Rad Speed XB. So looking at the numbers, Thomas, um, I see, you know, it, I think things are very comparable in terms of spin, uh, I think, I mean, did you see any major takeaways here? Like, what do you, when you hit the three drivers, uh, you also got a chance to see them and feel them and um, things like that. So that could also be part of this conversation. But what are the big takeaways that you noticed? Yeah, Rad Speed XB, that was that one that I missed hit a little bit. The spin mm -hmm. rate jumped up to 2,600. But otherwise, the spin consistency was a little bit lower and it was mm -hmm. consistently, consistently a little bit lower. If you take a look at the mm -hmm. plus or minus number on the Rad Speed XB there, and also it was the lowest spin of the mm -hmm. three models there too. So that's one that stood out to me. A little bit less spin, maybe wasn't the fastest ball speed of the three, but the spin stayed down. Yeah. So that was kind of important with regards to kind of forgiveness, especially on that one that I know I missed hit. Ball speed dropped a little bit, but mm -hmm. it still got away with it. Yeah, that's the, you know, that's one way to, if you can't get, you know, higher ball speed, then lowering the spin is sort of the next way. At least if you're a fast swinger, 
to kind of increase that distance. And so <laughs> there was also that one that I felt like I missed it a little right. Yeah. And I was like about to give it the, the right signal and it just kind of stayed there. I think that was, so I think maybe this it one. It might have been that one there, yeah. Uh, yeah, this was the one. So yep. I think you, I mean, the th yeah. So the face angle opened two degrees and then the spin stayed down below 2200. So that's pretty good indication because you're, I know, that's where right where you want to be is probably you know, low 2000s for someone like you that does swing it this fast and kind of can generate that amount of speed. But the fact that Cobra stayed down on the spin throughout was pretty good. With, besides the one that you maybe caught a little bit, not quite on center, which only jumped up to like 2600 even. So it's not yep. like it was spiking. So, um, and that ball, by the way, was, uh, I think it was in this area here. So, I mean, it's it was still hitting it over 300 yards. So yep. um, pretty good indication of the, Forgiveness with the Rad Speed XB. Yeah, and then, I mean, touching on forgiveness, we've, we've got to give applaud to the TSI driver for mm -hmm. how how straight that dispersion circle was. Now, yeah. the first round, the first three shots I hit, they were... They were right next to each other. They were right next to each other. they were all right here? Yeah, it was like those three right there. Mm -hmm. and, and then, so we can actually bring that up. So we can go, I think so it was... Four, five, and so, six. Yep. So yeah. these three right here, making a little triangle out there with, you know, that's what, 10 yards apart. So pretty good, pretty good from TSI too. And mm -hmm. then you had a couple more uh, where I think your last couple there's, well, I guess the spin only went up to 2,500 on this one. So, I mean, we're talking pretty consistent from Titleist TSI too there with yep. those shots. Yeah, very consistent. And it's important because we don't want to forget about them. Even though the driver came out in 2020, mm -hmm. it's still in comparison with regards to the newer models that mm -hmm. are out there. Titleist just does it a little unique. They release their product line in the fall. Mm -hmm. And then I think if we're talking about ping, I think the trends here, um, and I think we've seen this maybe before as well, comparing G425 to others. Now this is, I mean, a slight, slight trend. I mean, we're talking a few yards of a difference, but there, I mean, it's a little bit farther left than the others in terms of the overall trend of the dispersion. You have you know, more shots on the left side. So there is that um, with ping. And then I think, I mean, for as good as Rad Speed and TSI to perform, like G425, G425 Max is right there. Uh, it's you know we're, we're hanging. I mean we're talking. We're really nitpicking here in the differences. We got 100 RPM of spin. You know your carry yardages was what three yards I believe, and then total distance three yards. So it's right there. Um, yeah. Talking just just a you know miss hit or two in there maybe change things, but I mean it's right there too. Yeah, you say miss hit or two. The important p thing is to you see that one that's a little bit shorter up there. You know, maybe a little more of a miss hit, but notice how it flew straight. Mm -hmm. That's the, the most important thing is the miss hits with the Ping G425 were very, very straight. Mm -hmm. So that's important and very, very forgiving with the G425 Max. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, forgiveness is in abundance with these three models here, and you really can't go wrong um, with either one. So, I mean, if a golfer is interested in, you know, forgiveness, kind of a high launch, but then with that high launch, maintaining low spin, kind of chasing that distance. I think all three of these, as we've shown here, uh, it's a great, those are all great options. Uh, that that Titleist TSI 2 dispersion is pretty, pretty good. I mean, for a shot, for shots going 315 plus yards, for that to be at, as consistent as it is, that's kudos to Titleist for that dispersion. Yeah, and one thing to keep in mind when I was testing, these are all nine degree driver heads. Mm -hmm. These are all in the uh, no adjustment with regards to hosel. So just a standard nine yeah. degree adjustment. No center gravity differences at all. They're all kind of in the back. Everything is standard. So everything's standard comparing the models. Mm -hmm. So standard nine degree heads. Yep. yep, and I mean, the result, I mean, with all three, forgiveness, consistency, you know, maintains a low spin. I mean, it, it's all great stuff. And, and then, uh, of course, we always encourage golfers to come in and get fit and test them all for each other because then the difference for a lot of people is what it looks like, you know, preference in terms of appearance that address. And that's something that we really, um, you know, strive to give people and allow them to have that opinion and because that does matter a lot. So that's, you know, for golfers that want to come into a fitting, you can test out these three miles against one another, see how they perform for your swing and get dialed in for 2021 and beyond, hitting bombs off the tee straight and far down the fairway, just like Thomas here. So Thomas, thanks for hitting all the shots today and giving us the data.